In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the volume of a rectangle as well as we're going to do a square. Now, this is stuff that you have done in the past. Uh, you've even done this probably in grade school and middle school and high school. But I want to revise you on this and show you that uh, if you look here, this is what we're working with. It's going to be a rectangle. It's 5 foot by 10 foot by 4 foot. And of course, the volume of a rectangle is length times width times height. So the first thing that I would want to do is find my length of this object, which is 10 foot. So I'm going to write this down over here. Volume is equal to my length was 10 foot. Make sure you put your unit on there. Times width. The width of this is from here to here is four foot. Of course, take your unit with you. And the last is the height. And this is five foot in height. So we'll bring that over and I plug that in. Five foot. So I just simply come down here to my last row. And I take and I multiply these figures up. And four times five course is 20 and then 20 times 10 is 200 so you get 200 but remember don't forget your units so it would be 200 feet and there's you're multiplying this one by this one by this one so that'd be feet cubed. That would be the volume of that rectangle. Now, you do a cube exactly the same way. We know a cube is equal on all three axes, on all three sides. And if I were to bring this one up here, here's my little cube. And it just have one number. It's five inches cube. And uh, the formula is V equals side 3. What it's saying is S is each side of this, each leg of this, is 5 inches. This is 5, this leg's 5, this leg's 5, and so on. So all you're doing is really doing the same thing we did in, in rectangle. You're doing length times width times height, but just a little bit easier. This is an exponent. So you get volume equals, the side was 5, 5 inches, and you're going to cube it. And what you're going to do is, this cube on here, really what you're doing is you're taking 5 inches times 5 inches times 5 inches, very similar to what you did up here. So the volume of that would be 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 would be 125. Okay, so your volume would be 125 watt. Remember, it's in inches. So don't forget your unit. 125 inches and again, you're taking this unit, times it by this unit, times it by this unit, so it would be 125 inches cubed. That's your answer.